Hey everyone, I'm Vishnu, I'm a data scientist. In this video, I'm going to teach you the beautiful idea begin ANOVA and you will learn how to do feature selection using ANOVA. Let's see. If the independent variables are categorical and the dependent variable is numeric, then we have to use either t-test or ANOVA. But when to use t-test and when to use ANOVA? Well, if we have two categories in a feature, then we have to use t-test. Or if we have three or more categories in a feature, then we have to use ANOVA. In this video, we are going to learn everything about ANOVA. Let's say this is our data set. Here we have two categorical features and we have to figure out whether these categorical features are playing important role in predicting salary or not. For that, we are going to use ANOVA. First, let's take this feature and try to figure out whether company makes any difference in salary or not. There are three different companies. Let's take all three companies and their corresponding salary. To see the pattern clearly, let's sort the values. Now, if you look at each group, the values within group are close to each other. For example, if you take mean of each group and compare it with the values, most of the values are close to its mean value, which indicates that there is a less variation in salary within company. In other words, we can say there is a less variation within groups. But if you compare groups, the values between group are not close to each other. I mean, the groups do not look similar to each other. For example, if you compare this group with this group, they do not look similar to each other. Also, if you compare this group with this group, even they do not look similar to each other. To make it even clear, let's compare Samsung with Google. In Samsung, salary ranges from 31,000 to 42,000. Whereas in Google, salary ranges from 44,000 to 52,000. Obviously, there is a huge difference between Samsung and Google, which indicates that there is a huge variation in salary between companies. So simply we can say there is a huge difference between groups. If this is not clear to you, just think in this way. If people within group are similar to each other, but people between group are not similar to each other, I mean the groups do not look similar to each other, which means there is a difference between groups. It makes sense, right? This is the idea behind ANOVA. So the idea is, if the within group variation is less, I mean the values within group are close to each other and if the between group variation is high, I mean the values between group are not close to each other, which means there is a difference between groups. So this feature is important. If you plot a box plot, it will make it even clear. As you can see here, Google employees are getting more salary than Samsung and Sony, which means company makes huge difference in salary. So this feature is important. Now let me show you an another example. This time let's focus on location. There are three different locations. So let's take all three locations and their corresponding salary. To see the pattern clearly, let's sort the values. Now if you look at each group, the values within group are not close to each other. For example, if we take mean of each group and compare it with the values, most of the values are very far from its mean value. If you see, this value is very far from its mean value as well as this value, which indicates that there is a huge variation in salary within location itself. So there is a huge variation within groups. But if you compare groups, the values between group are close to each other. For example, if you compare this group with this group, they are identical to each other. Also, if you compare this group with this group, even they are similar to each other. In fact, the mean value itself very very close to each other, which indicates that there is a less variation in salary between locations. Also, we can say that there is a less difference between groups. Again, you can think this way. If people within group are not similar to each other, but people between group are similar to each other, I mean the groups are similar to each other, which means there is not much difference between groups. It makes sense, right? In this case, the within group variation is high and the between group variation is less, which means there is not much difference between groups. So this feature is not important. 
if you plot a box plot it will make it even clear as you can see here there is not much difference between locations which indicates that the location does not make any changes in salary actually the people who are making changes this is what ANOVA also tells us okay as I mentioned earlier if the within group variation is high and the between group variation is less then that feature is not important whereas if the within group variation is less and the between group variation is high then that feature is important but how much variation must be there or how much difference must be there to make this decision that is where ANOVA comes in picture in ANOVA we calculate between group variance and we divide it by within group variance if the F value is high then which indicates that there is a huge difference between groups so that feature is important and if the F value is less which indicates that there is not much difference between groups so that feature may not be important if you calculate ANOVA for these two features this will be the output this is the F score for these two features but what is this 2 comma 12 where this 2 comma 12 came from this is nothing but degrees of freedom this 2 came from number of categories minus 1 and this 12 came from number of samples minus number of categories and what is this p it is nothing but probability value and where this probability value came from to know that we have to go to f table and we have to get the critical value for 2 comma 12 degrees of freedom in this case the critical value is 3.89 then we have to refer the f distribution let's say the critical value approximately falls here then everything left to this line will be my acceptance region and everything right to this line will be my rejection region in this case the f value will approximately fall here and the p value is nothing but the total area which is right to this particular point obviously nothing is there after 73 that is why the probability value is zero and as a rule of thumb if the f value is greater than the critical value straight away we can reject the null hypothesis here the null hypothesis is there is no difference between groups and the alternative hypothesis is there is a difference between groups in this case the f value is greater than the critical value so we can reject the null hypothesis and we can conclude that there is a significant difference between groups so this feature is important whereas in this case the f value will approximately fall here and the p value will be the total area which is right to this particular point obviously the entire area comes after this point only so that is why the p value is 0 0.99 here so in this case we can't reject the null hypothesis because the f value is very very lesser than the critical value so we can conclude that there is not much difference between groups so this feature is not important in the next video i will teach you how to calculate this f score by and as well as how to make decision using f table and f distribution so make sure you watch my next video